<laughs> you know what? I, with the exception of like Ghost Rider, there's probably nobody on the site who even knows what a seven inch disc is. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we just fucking dated ourselves right there. <laughs> See, if I was thinking, I would have said the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have to load in on my TRS 80 with wax cylinders. But no, nah, uh, I, I should have been narrating that story by saying, Yep, George wanted to fix my computer, and when I had the floppy disk, <laughs> you kids don't know what the floppy disk is. But it was created uh, by Jesus. <laughs> Chicken George. All right, so don't we have some questions to answer? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me, you know, I do have hey, a man, question. Don't rush the I know, you like uh, Carlisle. You remember we doing that interview, the hangover the yesterday? Right, you're right, you're well, right. Uh, the, the hangover, it's like everything we do with Carlisle. He's like, all right, guys, uh, let, let, let's go. It's like. All right, motherfucker, slow down. There's it's, one of you and three of us. It's like know? every time we come in having a good time, he runs, he, he runs through the door. It's like, all right, let's get this thing over. I got things to do. It's like, you know we recording tonight. You know that? I mean, yeah. God damn, man. And you know it, down. it ends when it ends. Yeah, That's exactly. Works, Shit, so. ain't nobody's going to be. He's hopped up in that caffeine. His eyes are blinking and he's rocking back and forth. <laughs> if you're not here having fun, then why are you here? Yeah, he's like, God damn, I got somewhere to go. And it's like, yeah. no, you, yeah, you are where you need to go yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. Sit your yeah, ass you down. Do. Yeah. Record, just record, <laughs> record this motherfucker right here. That's what your priority is right now. Shut the fuck up. And we recording a hangover. The other day. I got to tell people that we recording a hangover. And like, like about three minutes into it, I get this movie at full price. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 You see the disappointed look on his face, and we didn't all start round robbing it after that. We're like, okay, like, that's well, right. well, what do you give it? It's like, hey, man, I ain't ready to give it yet. You know, we got another twenty minutes to record. It. Oh. <laughs> this, like, re- this reminds me, I do have a suggestion though, because I know we got shit when we were making fun of in the lightest possible way, co-host on our show, and I see that happen with everyone. Yeah. I think we should do that whole <laughs> that, that whiteout that people use. Go, yeah, man, that guy's a dick. Fuck him. Yeah, but he's all right. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that guy though. Hey, you we know that's that my thing, practice. man. Oh, that that oh, that so is your thing. Yeah, you man. know, I met people in public. Yeah. Hey, fucking Corey Coleman. Man, hey, man, let's have a drink, man. You real cool. You know? <laughs> Did Did I, I fucked up last time, really? man. Oh. You, you what you said yesterday just cracked me up. I was still laughing about it. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> when you were like, I'm not gonna say the name of who you were talking about. You like, yeah, you know, that's why I don't hang out with that guy that much because I. I by limiting my exposure to him, that just gives me nothing bad to say about him. But you were saying that as a you you were like actually genuinely trying to compliment the person by saying like I, I don't hang out with him that much, so I don't have anything bad to say. <laughs> I know, yeah, what wow. I and I thought about that after I said it, I was like shit that came out totally wrong. That was really complex. Cause see, on, when we record, I'll talk about people because it's all in fun. Sure. I mean, we because you know because I know people are gonna hear it and it's like yeah. you know we're taking friendly jabs at each other. It's really nothing personal. Well, but, that's what I'm saying. Like because people don't understand. So you have to throw in the white out the conversation yeah. whatever he's cool nah, but he's alright yeah <laughs> like that motherfucker high you know I can't stand that motherfucker but he's cool We're like, like Corey I gotta say you are one of my absolute best friends in the whole world and when I However, die, I really do not want you to deliver my eulogy. Yes. <laughs> right. I would like to say because that. you have such a way of delivering the most backhanded I'm compliments. I'm going up there. Cyrus was a good friend. In fact, I think there's no better way to take a look at Cyrus's life than going through his porn collection <laughs> publicly. <laughs> yes, <the> exactly. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, dude, you know I did. Really? <laughs> Grandma three ways? I had no idea he was such a sick fuck. Jesus I should did do that. You know I, I take all that shit I said before back. I, man, people, if y'all haven't heard the last Let's Do These or whatever you want to say, uh, I talked about my, my friend Albert who died like a year to, a year ago. I mean, it was really, it, I was broken apart about this. Nobody saw oh, me. It's really it. sad. It's no, like, I, 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 so young. I mean, yeah, no, I spent like, I, I'm not very emotional around people, so I was like, I spent several days in the house crying and shit, you know, because I going through the house like Phantom of the Opera and shit in the dark, you know, because I didn't want people yeah. to see me. And then I get on like a podcast and talk about how I, Took his porn collection off his dad's, you know, off his dad's hands, and I and the people telling me like, you know, wow, man, way to uh, give a tribute to your dead friend t- t- talking about his porn collection. I'm like, shit, that's just normal to me. I, well, you I didn't think talk anything was about wrong with that. Having a porn collection, but you went through it item by item. Yes, that's where that's you made nightmare. the mistake. You don't. You can say, yeah, it's a funny story. I got his porn collection, but then you don't go. And here is the shit he fetishized. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, the new thing, cigar smoking. Like, like maybe if you don't know this, but like people want their best friends to go in and secretly nab the porn collection away, so that like the the wife and the family and nobody else has to know about it yeah, and, yeah. and get rid of it. So nobody knows. You just the complete 
opposite of that. No, everybody has that. You, I have a porn friend like that. Like if I die, like exchange. oh, you got one? Oh yeah, yeah. Where you go if I, you die, you come over and you delete all that shit off my computer, yeah. right? Because I don't want my mom looking for pictures of me and stuff on the computer <laughs> and coming across raped nuns one through four. You know <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's raped hot. nuns. <laughs> they had it coming. <laughs> no pun intended. Right? Yeah. Fuck me, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's Jesus, man. Okay, that's an yeah. exorcist reference, for God's sake. But, I, you know, I mean, look, I guess maybe I didn't... It's the way his dad looked at me when I took it that I thought it was okay to talk about it. Because he, <laughs> he pretty much looked at me like he, like he was... Like you tell somebody goodbye, he pretty much looked at me like, happy jerking off, see ya. Because <laughs> he looked at me pretty much saying... Yeah, you're going to take this shit and go rub a few out with it. You can't yeah. jerk off the stuff a dead guy jerked off to. You just can't do that. There's something inherently. You should send that oh, stuff off in a Viking have funeral Have you boat. never jacked off to like a dead porn star? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, well, all right. She then. lives forever. Oh, man, I have. I ain't going to lie. I like because I, kids, I probably shouldn't be like telling you Uncle Corey's habits here because they are bad. But um, are you shaking your head like, no, 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 no. Go oh, ahead, go. Oh, oh, no, like I like I get online. I look at like that retro shit, like all the Harry Bush and all that kind of stuff. And I know that some of these chicks are if they're not dead, they're probably near it. And I'm just like, I don't care, man. This is like a, a capsule in time right What's here. What's that, that one I love. girl with Nina Hartley? I don't know what her deal. She oh, had a deal with the devil. She's still doing porn and she's like as old as any of those. Really? Wait, is, she, is she the one that just died? No, Marilyn no. Chambers. No, Marilyn, Marilyn Chambers. Chambers that's it. Yeah. But she's like in her 50s and she's still hot. She's still, she's got one of those, she was always known for her ass. She had one of those like, what in the fuck did you do? What's her name? Nina Hartley? Nina Hartley? Oh, yeah, she made yeah. a bunch of like how-to videos. Yeah, she got, she oh, kept her wow, career going man. by touring and lecture. She was a porn actress in Boogie Nights that was having yes. sex. Yes. There he goes. The the first one for the night. Thank you, hi. Uh, <laughs> Back there on, on iPhone, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hi, Pardo. Hi, no. He plays so well. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, she's hi, the one Pardo, that, that, tell uh, us what he's won. <laughs> <laughs> she's the one that William H. Macy kills. Oh, that's so. That's the reference in there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I gotta go look that up then, man. Yeah, she. Yeah. You might like her. She was great. Her early. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, like, I'm so excited. I'm over here. Like, I'm running to find her name. If you like the classic porn star, she's one of the great ones. She was really good. She yeah, because you know now you go see what she does now. It's like wow, that she actually was liking it, loved it. Dang. She goes around torn about fucking porn. Best thing ever happened to me. Oh, as man. opposed to all the other girls who blew their heads off with shotguns. Yeah, you know, I would. <laughs> I had a guy come online. Like as much as I talk about porn on here, because look, I got nothing to hide. Because look, ninety five percent of the of men who have a computer. I mean, even if they don't want to do it, they're just curious and they get online and like, right. huh? And, I, and the, uh, the uh, other five percent are lying sacks of shit. Yeah. Yes, there you go. If, if, shit. if you don't use porn and you're a dude. Sooner or later, you're going to do something amazingly dickheadish to a woman. <laughs> I'm not talking about rape or something, but maybe. I'm just saying you're going to be a douchebag because we're not meant to hold that shit in for a real no. long time. Mm-mm. And no. that's, that's, that was our little gift to get rid of that shit so we can treat women like human beings. It's any, not our yeah. fault our biology's fucked up. Yeah, no, any guy that says, no, I don't masturbate, he's either lying. And you can tell he's lying because he's too normal. And if and you know he's not lying when he's looking at you and he's like, no, I don't masturbate. Oh, you know, yeah, no, yeah. I don't do that. Dang. You know, you get the weird guy who's like re- really religious or something who thinks right. somebody's going to touch his penis, he's going to explode. You know, then yeah. that's the guy who's telling the truth. Because it's probably true though that you haven't masturbated or had an orgasm in like six years. You probably don't want anybody touching you at that point. <laughs> you probably will. You probably will explode. Yeah, the moment they touch you, like, <laughs> oh, oh my god, <laughs> mm, that was good. But they are the ones who end up. Uh, killing everybody in a school yeah or or raping an altar boy or what have you right you know i mean it's like you know what we're not meant to hold back that long it's natural to have sex yeah that's what we're meant to do so yeah fine choose your religion that lets you have sex yeah sex. exactly I, I would just throw out there there was this chick angela devi this indian girl man you guys would flip well at least i mean she's not redheaded sorry so maybe not you but Corey, you <laughs> oh i'm not that nuts. limited oh, really? really i like blondes too is she an actress or is she? A, what is she? No, she was just like a like a pinup kind of like she would do like solo video stuff. Like I, I never saw a hardcore thing with her, but she was she's everything you could ever want. I actually know who you're talking about. Do you? Yeah, I'm very familiar with porn. Oh well, yeah. well damn. I, I'm <laughs> well, not even that familiar. Enough. I'm like damn. God. Hey, what you doing tonight? Can I come over and peruse your collection? <laughs> no, that's private. There's some things. Gee, that- I wonder what the chances are he would like broadcast your. <laughs> Collection. <laughs> when you're dead, you know well, that's the only I'm thing dead. I want to do. I'm writing my eulogy yeah, while I'm looking at your collection. Would be the next to Coco. I'd be like, hey, I, I took a, a list here, Cyrus's porn collection. Let's see. I'd make a podcast just for that, Cyrus's porn collection. Um, You'd be alphabetical that shit. 
Hey man, uh, and by the way, if a guy did dress up like Prince just to bring it back from what begin this whole thing, Ooh, he begin circle. he would be yeah. And you, I knew you were gonna do that. You do that all the time. <laughs> you see, that. you brought it back full circle. That's your thing. That's your catchphrase. <laughs> that is one of my things. But uh, <laughs> they, no, if a guy dressed up like Prince and walked around town, girls would love him because he's different and he's pretty. I, there was a dude who was dressing up. Now I know you worked in you worked in bars, so I know you saw Batman. True. You know, I'm talking about the dude with the Batman symbol on oh, his yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude. Always had women flock. There was a guy walking around town. He looked like a cross between Adam Ant and, and he had a big Batman symbol on his chest. He had like a crew, a crew cut, uh, blonde hair. Uh, and he walked around with his shirt wide open so he could show that tattoo off. And Seriously, just, you guys could have kicked that guy's ass and the cops would not have even jumped in. And, no, they would have stood back and gone... It's about, about time. time. But everybody liked it. No, yeah. <laughs> just those cops shit. aren't getting laid either, but that dude's popping around with some hot chicks. They're like, no. Yeah, because he would just go to a bar, and he's standing at the bar and just grin the whole time. I mean, grinning. He wasn't even trying to be cool. He just smiling, just happy to be there. And women would go up and talk to that guy. Why? Because he was different. I think they probably. I bet you anything he played an instrument. There's almost yeah. no doubt because that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you it, play an instrument. It doesn't matter what you look exactly. Like. You could be the elephant man as long as you can play. <laughs> uh, uh, as long as you can mildly play the guitar and you've recorded it at some point, then you will just have girls that look like. Porn I mean, stars sorry. If you think you. about it, like like not only did Prince play like, every instrument and was the front man and a singer. Yeah. But you know he came out in the androgynous '80s. So there's no – why would he not have a mountain of pussy I don't all the time? And he's a hell of a basketball player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> In the edited version of events. No, I mean, I won't argue with you. He's an incredibly talented musician. Absolutely no question about that whatsoever. But I just think he I, looks like yeah. some sort of weird Morlock mutant. That's Man, all. I stopped being that guy. And I'm not saying this is you. I don't, so don't say I'm calling you jealous. But I used to be that guy that looked at people and be like, the fuck is wrong with, with me? That guy over there has a chick and she's fine as hell. And and I, until I, you I, became that guy. Until <laughs> I stopped being jealous of that guy. Then I, then I looked at everybody else's haters. It's funny how that works. I wonder. And then I just learned to go, hey, when in Rome, go where the pussy is. <laughs> but, but no, I. I <laughs> no, man, I just, I just stopped asking why. People, why girls are with a certain guy? Because I always see. I was in the mall today, and I saw this fucking guy who looked like just like a sixty-year-old dork, a dork at sixty years old, had a fine-ass Asian chick I walking was with never him. Never at the mall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you will about Leon, he does not go to the mall. Oh, he goes to the mall. We didn't get that shirt from right now. <laughs> Target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's right. He never goes to the mall. He goes to the strip mall. <laughs> but yeah. uh, no, I, I, so I just stopped saying, you know, man, I, people have money. People have some sort of weird look about them. Maybe people just happen to meet by, uh, you know, mis, mischance and just say, hey, you know what? Hey. It can you know. happen. I mean, look at me. I'm, I finally have a girlfriend. It's Mary, and everyone who meets her afterwards, like, seriously, dude, what did you do? Do you have something? <laughs> oh, so it's safe to say something? that now. Yes, because yeah. I have said that several no, times. No, no, <laughs> it's, uh, like, What's the deal? I was like, honestly, I wish I knew because I would continue to use my power. Yeah. No, I keep pulling her inside and asking, who's paying you? Seriously. <laughs> no, nah, I'm fucking with you, man. She, she's real nice. The, the other night when I came over, uh, she hung out with me in the room when I was over there for a little while. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, right. I know so many stories that start with those words and they go horribly wrong. I don't even want to acknowledge that because that can creep into my head. Hey. Let me tell you something. That would ruin the entire thing. I ain't never really done that on. Well, I know you. No, 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 never mind. You know, I know you will say there are going to be several instances where you say I like fucked around some girl you coming after, and I will say I never did that on purpose. Never happened like that. Times where like I I seriously expect sometimes I'm having sex with Mary. It's like one of those things. Like I get up, go to the bathroom, come back, and you be in there (laughs) in the bed doing what? What? I know. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> you left, dude. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I ain't going to even touch on this thing right here. And I, let me just say, besides you thinking that I did that shit on purpose, I ain't never had that problem with anybody except that one time that guy did walk in the bar. I, I talked, this, talk, talked about this with Carl all the night. Where he's like, where's fucking Corey Coleman? And Leon was the one who pulled me aside at a movie theater. <laughs> He's he, he people. This is true. But Leon pulled me aside to move it at, when we're watching the screen. Well, Cyrus is the one who told me. He about t- what yeah, happened. Cyrus told you about this. You had you working at the when bar. This guy walks to a bar like it's fucking Dodge City. <laughs> Where the hell's Corey Coleman? Because he fucked my woman and I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that woman, his wife. Wife, yeah. And, yeah. and Leon pulled me aside and uh, at a uh, screening and he said, 
Come here, let me talk to you. And I already knew what it was going to be about. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what cracks me up about you. Whenever I, I pull you aside to talk to you about something, you act so innocent, and yet you know exactly what I'm about to talk to you about. <laughs> oh, that's not, it's not the only time. It's been like 10 of those times, and I'm like, hey, man, I need to tell you something. You're like, what? Somewhere, somewhere there's an ex-husband's website with a big wanted post. No, that only wanted. happened once because you pulled me aside, and I knew what already you were going to say. And because you said, uh, do you know anything about this guy looking for you because you fucked his wife? And I was like, uh, somehow I knew this was going to be the question. I did not know she was married. I no, did not I, kn- and honestly, I'm a witness to that. I know for a fact you didn't because I found out after the fact she was going around trying to get tail from anybody she could. She go. was trying yeah. to end that And marriage. she came to the right person right now. <laughs> <laughs> you closed that deal. <laughs> If the podcast cut off abruptly, it's because he'd be naming names right now. I'm just right. like, I'm not going to name names. I'm just going to say, like, I remember being at, with you at a function, hanging out with you late and drinking. Yeah. And this girl was really flirting with you hard. Like, well, Corey. Well, you know something? I would, and you were, like, almost begging me not to leave because it was almost in your eyes, like, if you leave, I'm going to fuck this girl. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's, got to be like, it's like, dude, it's 2 o'clock. I got to go. <laughs> and, and I was trying to avoid Something told me there was trouble with that because I saw her fighting with a guy. And she in, in the night before, look, this, this would tell me she was not looking for anybody because the night before she came up, and she's like, you're Corey Coleman, right? And then she had the nerve. TV's Corey Coleman. No, it wasn't like it wasn't even like that. She's like, yeah, you know, you you know somebody that I know. And then uh, she, my and, husband. And, so and you and, have no what, idea. You know what? She 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 fucking. I talked to that guy. She fucking introduced me to that guy, but she didn't say her husband. She just said, you know, uh, he and was the, wearing a t-shirt with their marriage certificate. But she sure. no. What happened? She walked away, and that guy came over, and he was like, and, and he was talking to me. I guess he was trying to size me up, and it was just. Uh, I'm sorry, this is too funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I was talking to him, and I didn't know that was him. But the next, but the next night, I saw that dude her, arguing with her, and I was like, "Wow, this is trouble." But at this point, and how was there? You know, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say there's a lot more to this story I could tell you. About, but. <laughs> I just knows I answered the door and they had no clothes on, <laughs> and I was like, "Get on out of here, man." <laughs> says that whole night was one of the most craziest events. Of like weird shit going on, I've probably ever been to. Oh I yeah, mean, awesome. Yeah, for me anyway. Yeah, it I mean, was. I don't, just, it was, I don't a, know. It was a great night. Yeah, it was. awesome. No, it was. Uh, no, it was. It was. You just, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. What do you? Wait, what do you? You shit, know, it's I not guess. like they leave footprints. You gonna you fuck know? up and fuck somebody's husband? I mean, you're fuck somebody's wife? I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're like, uh, no, I thought you were right the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. You said though, could have been both. Before you put yeah, I know he comes in. He's like, man, I don't appreciate what you did because you should have fucked me too. <laughs> you knew though come on you i remember hearing from her after that she, you were like hey before you put that finger in my ass can you take the ring off please oh <laughs> oh, oh man come oh, on just saying wow come on damn you didn't you know what it, that was for you went, you took it deep man of course, that yeah. being, so did you apparently <laughs> well yes you i can't i brought that full circle well, yeah da, 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 you brought it back full da, circle da, 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 you said i came around da, 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 da. now who wrote that email <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Moving on to another subject here. Hi, I want to ask you something real quick. What? 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 <laughs> Did you see The Hangover? No, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, there's another one on Monday. Yeah. Okay. One. There's a guy in the movie, and he's it, now he it's a it's a powerful uh, Asian gangster. He's surrounded by bodyguards who are also Asian, but they all speak perfectly no uh well, okay, normal's wrong but well normal because this thing the way he's talking is exaggerated they speak english and they were born and raised in america and yeah he wasn't and this guy comes <laughs> up and he's stuck oh hi motherfucker okay How you doing? can i step in here like before you go too far yes and go like that gangster was chinese and high is vietnamese I and know the not difference. The same thing. I know, but it's still. Is he some kind of expert all of a sudden? Yeah, because it's still the Asian stereotype. It doesn't matter because they do that for all Asians in movies. It, oh. it wasn't all that exaggerated. It was a normal accent of a guy. Well, I mean, who's just not wait until I see it before I come. You're on. supposed to help me, man. You ain't supposed to be doing this. You're no, not supposed meant, to be well, fair. No, it's true. I hate all those Asian stereotypes that they put. I mean, Rush Hour being one of them. I mean, it's one of the worst movies you know for an Asian stereotype that you could put in there. So if this is you know portraying to it, 
Then I'll probably hate it. Honestly, I think gay people would be more offended than than uh, than Asians would. I mean, I mean, I think then, Asian gay people would be offended by this. Yeah, and they run of gangs. Which they're, so. uh, apparently, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, 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 they are running the gangs. <laughs> they're the ones Wait, that run yeah. the. Is, is it like the Asian gay character in like Good Morning Vietnam? The um, it's the similar to oil. that. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's, I, it's I, I think it's more like um, Bruce Lee's Return of the Dragon, oh, uh, also known as oh, Way of the Dragon. Guy. Okay. So, wait, wait, set the, you got any Chinese barriers? But it's always like, no, 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 no. It's not with Dragon. It's uh, Fist of Fury. Yeah. Or, or like in a, a story of Ricky. Uh, like, like, like the well, main That's what uh, I'm Warren saying. Is guy. That's a common thing. Yeah, it is the common. big gay Asian leader gang. Yeah. Guy. I don't know the, where the, that the, comes from. The boss from. is always gay. I mean, but they're Asian movies doing this. It's not it's, like right. Americans are doing right. this. Right. Yeah. These so, are my examples. Okay. Yo, you know what? Now. <clears throat> To show you that I am being fair and hi, this is no offense to you or any of your Asian brethren, even though you've the uh, Vietnamese and it was Chinese guy in this movie. Uh, there, there were two guys who pulled up to me one night and asked me, "Do you know what Charlie's is?" And they asked me just like that. So well, that's maybe. because they're not from here. English is okay. their first language. <laughs> okay. They have accents like Mexicans or the French. And or Charlie's is the gay club here, by the way. Here. So they were they were gay Asian people who talk like this. And so yeah, yeah. I, I worked with a with a Japanese girl, and every time she talks to me, my first word is huh. Yeah, <laughs> like, and also yeah, you repeat that. Plus, I, you know the so-called gay accent. I mean, of course, not all gay people have an accent. That's fucking stupid. But <laughs> flaming gay people do tend to have, a, oh, embellish on their uh, vowels. Oh, okay, all, all right. Hey, why are you looking yeah. at me, man? Yeah, like I, I'm not that's the one. A I'm, lifestyle. He's trip. talking. He looking at me like I'm the one that's saying all this shit. Now, like well, hey, he's I'm a pissed gay Asian. He's pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, he's looking at me across the room like, oh, shit, oh, oh, I mean, oh. look at Mr. Sulu. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Gonna... He talks with an he, he he talks with like an English accent. He still comes in with that laugh. Oh. Dude, I, he was actually one of those guys who came out gay. I went really, really. I never would have guessed that he was. Well, gay. If you only saw him on the show, you would never guess he was gay. No, I'd seen him in interviews and stuff, and he just you know. I mean, like I said, this is stupid. This he he was always very stuff, uh, but, affected, but yeah. but like but not in a, in a proper way, in, in a pro, in a, in a Vincent Price Hans Conried kind of way, <laughs> right. I just wanted to get the Asian man's point of view right while well, you're right here because they always jump on me when I bring up these stereotypes and like like I'm being too like I'm the ACLU like, like you or something. something. You're I, sensitive I, to stereotypes. I, I am very sensitive to stereotypes because I like I'm that guy. I had this discussion with the co-host. Like I'm that guy where somebody says, "Man, people say you shouldn't use the word retard anymore. That's stupid." I'm the guy that says, "Now look, I say it, but let's listen to the other side before yeah, we make a judgment." All those retards in the anti-retard defamation league are pissed. Well, you know, it's, 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 it's one of those <laughs> when, when, when you say like, "Hey, man, don't don't call me nigger," it's like, "Okay, you're you're telling me that." But usually, with, for the for the retards, it's not the retard himself that's saying, "Don't call me a retard." Yeah, it's a it's their of, friend who's saying like, "Hey, don't call him a retard." It's like, "Hey, fuck you." I'm talking to him. Not, well, not you know, the that's the thing. Term. Sorry, I, I'll, I'll keep hearing stories. Like, I got emails after that, and people are mad. And I was like, I was the one defending it, and people are still pissed at both of us. And like, well. Mentally challenged people do not like to be called retarded. A retard. I mean that that does hurt no, their no, feelings. Re- retard is clearly a slur. I mean, it depends yeah. on the case, though. There is mental retardation, but not everyone who has mental disabilities is mentally retarded. There is a difference. There is a spec- specificity about being retarded that is a medical term. Okay? But no, retard is not a medical term. Around. No, that's <laughs> what I mean. and if we're going to go there, let's go to the one that's more important. The word midget. Like midgets are saying, "Oh, calling me a midget is like calling me a nigger." And I'm like. Mm, it's, no, no so. it is not the now, same when thing. When was the time you were oppressed on mass? <laughs> yeah. When did that happen exactly? Yeah, where, where, where were those killing fields of, of midgets? And, yeah. where, and, and what, what plantations did the midgets Plus, they want to be called little people? Really? You think that is less? I know. A that's dwarf. Like, yeah, yeah, they say the, that we no, prefer dwarf. It's like they say we're not, we're not midgets, we're dwarfs. Well, no, and that's I'm like, not true, actually. No, no that, that is true because there were some people who said dwarfs. They wanted midgets. Well, then they probably actually were dwarfs because midgets and dwarfs are two specific types of things. Yes, yeah. Uh, there are two very specific. Well, okay. So, to, to you, what what is a dwarf? I don't know the name of the. No, no, the the, 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 the dwarfs. They have they have bigger heads. Yeah, yes. they are. They look like kind of they're, they're out of proportion. The dwarfs is the one that had the normal heads and the, and the, and the smaller yeah, body. Yeah. Where, Midgets so, are actually proportion. Yeah. They're smaller people. If I'm not mistaken. Right. Like a midget is the guy from Jackass. He's a midget. But no, he's a dwarf. Yeah, he's a dwarf. really. I yes. thought he was a midget. He's a dwarf. And then yeah. it was the other the guy from the, the who's and, like. If you look and now, if you notice the uh, dwarfs as they want to be called, they have the same facial features. Like Peter Dinklage. If you just saw Peter Dinklage's face. 
you think he was a, like a normal sized guy, right? Until you saw the rest of his body. But okay, even sure. then, you'd say there is some similarity between his face and everybody else who's considered to be a dwarf. Look at right. that. Look, look at that show where they talk about uh, was it Little Big People or something uh, like yeah, that? Big, uh, little People, Big World, Big World. Well, that's it. There, yeah, there is a, a medical classification for midget dwarf. So unless someone was actually a dwarf. <laughs> they wouldn't want to be called that. But that whole thing of like, don't call me midget. I say, all right, what do you want to be called? I want to be called a little person. You're like, wow, that's so demeaning. I would never even think to call you don't that. Call that, that me is midget. You know, <laughs> Tallie. <laughs> yeah, from that from song, don't call don't me nigga. Me. Yeah, don't call Tally. me midget. <laughs> And that's just like saying, don't call me a black, call me a colored person. Yeah, it's something yeah, like yeah, that. Exactly. That, yeah, that, that is. It's like, it's like I'm sorry, but, but black is the new colored person. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it, no it's, it's weird, man. And everything has a weird terminology. Like, certain people don't want to be called Negro, even though we still have the United Negro College Fund. Oh, yeah. we, and we got the National Association of Colored People. I'm sorry, oh, yeah, we national, and we still have the, uh, uh, the, uh, the National Negro Anthem. I mean, I want to yeah. just... Negro National right Anthem. Now, PC won, straight up. It just won the big war. Because it's gotten to the point that it's just preposterous, the level okay, which here, we're oversensitive here, Here's my thing about, about, about the attack. And, like, everybody wants to attack. Like, I hate PC. I hate M to be politically correct about everything. But you have to understand the points in which... Your are things you can say and you can't. Well, you just can't take it too far. Well, that, well that's the thing. It's like, look, if, if, if being PC means that you get consequences by calling me a nigga, then I, I'm all for PC. I mean, what it comes down to, I like, man, I might not like the fact that you want me to call you little person, really. But, hey, man, if that's what you need, if that's what you want, then okay, fine. I, I, can, I can do that. There's people who, who get mad who say, like, wow, you can say nigger, but I can't. That's, that's not fair. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I never, there's no, there's no part of me that goes like, wow, I can't say spick, and that pisses me right. off. Yeah. Now you, yeah, that was only fair. Y'all took that word back. You own it now. Which and is not, you know what? And yeah. you even use it in the anger. Yeah, in lieu of 40 acres and a mule, yeah. I think we could have that word. I, I, no, I, I yeah. agree. I completely agree. But at the same time, there's a point where you go, like you were saying earlier, about United Negro College Fund. I mean, you, you, really? What's the point? I mean, I think what it comes down to is, okay, uh, the, the, the big N word, White people or any other color should not be able to use that word, period. You just can't use it unless you're talking about it in a sociological type of sense. Right. But any other one, it's a matter of how you say it. It's a, the context a- Alabama in which you're porch saying. monkey's not good either. Well, okay. No matter how you well, say it. Or, or, or shwiggy or smoke. Shwiggy. Shwiggy. That's what I... Isn't, I, that a, isn't that like a nickname? I thought it was hey, a shwiggy. Baby. No, no, that's all it's <laughs> Shwiggy. Uh, I named my pal puppy baby. Shwiggy. Yeah, tar, tar baby. Yeah. I never heard of that, shwiggy, smoke, though. Smoke, spear that, checker. That, that good. Shine. Shwiggy. What I'm saying is like it's, it's a lot of it is context, though. It's yeah, like, it and you can't freak out when someone's using something in a non-angry, a non-ugly way. No, no. I mean, but, you know, I mean, especially between, you know, anybody who gets mad about being called black or negro, it's like, get over yourself. In shwiggy, a, a comic strip? Yeah, it's still not over <laughs> yeah, there, dude. It's, 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 it's quite. It's quite a bad. Oh, show. I'm sorry. I'm thinking uh, about uh, Ziggy. Slur. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is Ziggy gonna do today? Um, you know, I, I, about PC, man. It's also been a uh, it's a case by case situation because there've been some situations where it's like, oh, you know what? This person meant no offense by it at all, and you're thinking, okay, I'm not gonna sit up here and get mad at this guy when he did not know or he meant nothing by it. Or everybody cannot make a big deal out about this and move on, and everything's cool. And then you got the guy at the office. Who says, you know what? I'm going to tell a black joke just to see if I can push the limits with this person because I know I can bring up. Don't be so PC, man, afterwards. Let's not forget the same thing goes with woman as well. I mean, you got to understand you can't go tell like misogynist jokes when there's a woman around at the office and not expect a reaction. You know, well, no, it's no, it's definitely the same thing. I mean, it's all. Yeah, no, it's exactly the same thing. I've always said that. No, you can't sit up there and start telling jokes about women and using all kind of words like cunt oh, bitch and uh, pussy and all that of misogynist, you know. did you see uh andrew dice clay on cnn recently yeah yeah he went on there and they're like oh andrew dice clay apparently he's back he's gonna tour again and he's like and he just wouldn't shut up and finally he's like you know what fuck this station fuck cnn fuck this fuck you fuckers and got up and left and they're like uh that's okay. weird because he did that a long time ago and well, at a time when it was justified. Okay, well, well, not in the interview I saw. He just suddenly freaked out and started oh, okay. like going, fuck you. And really? they were like, yeah. oh, he's back for, you know, so what kept you away for so long? What did you, the guy was like, so why did you, I mean, why did you take a, you know, uh, why did you stand back? Why did you do this? He's like, fuck you. I never stood back. 
It's like, uh, dude, no one's heard from you in 25 years. You stood back. <laughs> That's me saying that. Oh. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, it, it, you well, know, it's it's actually a sadder story because he didn't stand back. He just wasn't doing anything of note. Well, he he's an <laughs> ugly reminder of a time I think I'd rather forget where it was like, honestly, publicly, we could still, people could still say the shit he was saying. And people go, oh, that's funny. He's like, no, dude, actually, in a public forum, that's not. Hey, raise okay, your mic okay, up okay, a little bit. Okay, here, here's the thing. You, you remember the story you told me about Leonard Nimoy about how he wasn't really like trying to divorce himself from Spock. Yeah, it was all misunderstood. Yeah, and and that title. was the Andrew Dice Clay thing. Was like his jokes were like, yeah, isn't it funny how I'm being such an asshole? Kind of pointing out what, what how ridiculous this was. Unfortunately, all the people who were real assholes like jumped on it and adopted it. It's like, yeah, yeah, this guy's speaking for us. Well, yeah, he was, he, his, his shows were full, no, really, his shows were he full of frat exactly. guys and they were all like, whenever he was like, what's in the bowl, bitch? And the audience would be like full of backwards caps. Yeah, yeah, yeah he but, speaks for me. But he didn't exactly come out and make a big deal about saying, oh, I don't really mean that. No, he went. No, no, no. I, I saw him on several no. things where he said like, I'm just playing a character and people are taking this too seriously. Yeah, when he was on the Oprah Winfrey show. But now you <laughs> know what? I'm telling you, even at the height of his really? Space, yeah, I, I would see him on shows all well, the time even, that, even but nobody in, was listening even if that was the point it's not funny I'm sorry I've heard those albums and to me I didn't think they were funny yeah I didn't I think like, they hickory like, dickory really duck see, I didn't think that funny. was funny that's man. not clever or it funny was, it's dude, just it, dumb it, you can't take comedy out of context I mean you know you listen to Red Skelton right now and that shit is dull as dishwater okay, but at the time to, he was hilarious if I'm supposed to secretly know that Andrew Dice Clay is actually doing this to point out how ridiculous these guys are and yet I've heard an entire album and at no point does he do anything to indicate that then I'm sorry that's just dumb you know you know that what I, I mean but, but that's the same thing people could accuse us of that's not true we, we backslide all the time <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> hey. but no here's the difference between us because I mean really I mean say what you will this is us I mean this is us talking I mean, we might be crude. We might be say a lot of uh, vulgar things, even offensive things. But we're not coming out saying, "Hey, we're playing a personality." You well, know, I, this I is am. Like, I, I'm no, no, like no, no, you not. Yeah, you like this I'll all the time, even more so. I'll honestly apologize to anyone if I say something that slips out that offended somebody really bad when it's deserved to be apologized for. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've said stuff. Sure, we've all put our foot in our mouths. All of us have been Carlisle from time to time. <laughs> yeah, you know? you're gonna say but that. We just said something that was just so outrageously rude and inappropriate. And then gone, you know what? You're right. That was a total dick move on my part. But we're only fucking here. Well, yeah, y'all hear about the, the Alec Baldwin thing just last week? No, what happened this oh, time? Oh, he was, he was on one of the talk shows. I forgot what it was. It made a joke about like, oh, yeah, somebody would have, you know, maybe I get one of those Filipino brides. The Philippines went ape shit oh, about how oh, he insulted us because that's that's white slavery. We're trying to crack down on that, and that's not part of our culture. To the point to where he went ahead and uh, like, I apologize if I offended. You know the, something? The I don't blame him for the apology, but. He was only commenting on something that exists. Yeah, he didn't. Like, he didn't come exactly. out and endorse it. He right. didn't come out and say I approve of this. He just made a joke, so and Google, it's not his. He doesn't. He no, doesn't. No, 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 no he does not deserve like, the brunt of that. I mean, I the think, responsibility like, for that. Like, all right, I've taken so many hits over that shit with my daughter and everything else, and I got a hit show. I don't want a bunch of hits. No, but no, but otherwise, no. I'd be like, you know what, Philippines, fuck you. No, you, you come. No, come out. You got to come out and just say, you know what? Okay. I'm sorry, all right? You okay? Okay. Google yeah. Filipino Bride. See what comes up. Exactly. You got 18,000 hits of pages. Yeah. Full Filipino Bride. You know what? Instead I'm of like uh, jumping on Alec Baldwin, why don't you do something about that shit, right? <laughs> all right, the computer just cut off that conversation we were just doing because you ran out of, uh, out of room on that particular recording, and now we moved on to another one. And I was telling y'all we're going to get through this quick because uh, we're going to read some email because I'm tired, boy. We, I was uh, in Waco last night visiting my mother, and... Uh, she was like, yeah, come on, baby, come away, come see me, which I'm going to do because she's all by herself that now. Sure. And uh, your, your, your brother and sister don't go visiting? No, nah, no, nah, not as much. Uh, my brother does a little bit, but you know. But doesn't he live right there? He lives in the Temple, which is like not that far away. It's right. like it's closer to her than I am, but I mean, come on, it's my brother. You know how crazy he, he talks to me. He needs to get a day pass from the institution. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my brother goes in there. My mother even tells me, Mark was over talking crazy, you know.